Hey everybody, this is an exercise I'd like you to do if you want to expand your ability to be musical in the phrases that you play on piano. Um, this is an advanced exercise, so you have to know all of your basics of theory and um, and have some, some chops before you do it. It's not for beginners. Um, in this exercise, I want you to play two random notes and make that the start of a phrase. And uh, we, we have a 16-bar phrase. So in the first four bars, well, actually, let's call it an eight-bar phrase. So in the first two bars, you play two random notes. The second two bars, you do a response to those two notes. The third two bars, you do a um, sort of a, a call to what will then be the next response. And in the last response, you use the same two-note pattern that you did in the first phrase. Um, so, like, for example, if you play this note and this note for the first phrase, then maybe your second, your answer to that is... And then your next call is... And then your response to that is your original two notes. So this is training the muscle in your brain that remembers what you play and focuses on what you play so that it will generate ideas for you intuitively as you move forward in your solo. It's a very important muscle to exercise. Um, thank you, Russell and Sirota, for hipping me to that concept originally. This is sort of a variation on something that Russell showed me a little while ago, which hopefully we'll do a video with his idea with him soon. But I'm going to play a blues here using the iRealBook Pro app. And then I'm going to show you this exercise using the blues. OK. So I'm going to start this at the start of the blues. And just start with two random notes, OK? Now the next phrase, next phrase. Now see how I went to the first phrase again at the end of that pattern. And then let it cycle out again. So that, I sort of succeeded on that. On that one, the last phrase wasn't exactly like the first one, so I'm gonna try again. Two random notes. So, I did that. That was correct. It doesn't really matter what you play in between as long as you repeat those same notes. Make it dissonant now. So what that's showing you, it's kind of a cool concept because it shows you that the musicality that you're playing does not depend on the consonants of 
the patterns that you're playing, and it doesn't depend on the vocabulary that you're using. It depends on something different. It's how you use the material that you're playing, no matter what the material is. So it's a really powerful exercise. You could play anything in any key over this blues, and it'll, it'll help you learn to use the notes that are outside the changes at times. It'll help you learn to pull notes that are outside back inside by making them passing tones. Like, if you start on this note and you're in D, like what could it be? It's the flat, it's the flat five, so it could be a, like a bluesy note. Or it could be a note that's like the four of the E flat minor if you're gonna play outside the changes. Um, but then the way you use that and the way you let it, you have it stick in your memory and you continue to develop that motif is the thing that will help you be, uh, gain more advanced musicality as you move forward in your practice. All right. I hope this helps. This probably applies to like two people who are watching this video, but at least it's a cool intellectual exercise. Thanks, guys. Talk to you soon.